Look out, it's the midnight hour, baby! favorite day of the year. chair. Your father doesn't strap people in the chair. It's Mrs. Hodges. Well, she's only in for a cleaning. I gotta go. I gotta report at school. Who are you gonna take to Melissa's big party tonight? Mary. We're all going in a group. Uh-huh. We know. She shot you down, right? She didn't shoot me down. I didn't even ask her. Chicken. Tell me. It's okay to be shy. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried. You know your father was just like that. Now I'm worried. Hey. I'm just joking. Listen, it's no good for boys your age to wear your heart on your sleeve. Girls pick up on that. Don't be so eager. Everything in its time. Words to live by, Mom. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm. Oh, your father wants to talk to you. Don't wear your heart on your sleeve. That's what she said? Just like my Janet. She doesn't understand boys your age, Phil. Whisper. But you've got to go for it. Get involved. Fall in love. 
Get hurt once in a while if that's what it takes. So what if it causes a little pain? No pain, no gain. That's my motto. Can you open a little wider, please? That's good. Very good. Dad, I get into school. All right. But you listen to your father. Don't hold back. Go for it. Take chances. Live like there's no tomorrow. We're not getting any younger. Right, Mrs. Hodges? Mm -hmm. Words to live by, Pop. See ya. See ya. Mm -hmm. Yes. Phil, Mrs. Hodges' niece is coming in for the weekend. She's an honor student around your age. What do you say? Dad, I gotta go. Oh, all right. Bye-bye now. Happy Halloween. I want no vacation. I want no vacation. Mm. No, 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 no. It's overrated. Gee, gee, no, yes, yeah. <laughs> Go. Come on, Mary. Yes. Are you sure it's a song title? It's a song. Bad word. I, I don't know. Um, um, it's so easy. Um, you always give the hard one. Come on, Mary. Um, um. Ten minutes. I'm telling you, the man ain't showing. Probably some kind of breakdown. Yeah, probably a mental breakdown. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think Mr. Fenster's all there anyway. I notice that about a lot of people around here. You know, folks who lived here their whole lives. Maybe it's something in the air. Well, like oxygen. Not like New York, huh, Vinny? That was my last quarter. Well, you're just learning, cuz. You'll get it. But they gotta look, these people. I mean, you can see it in their eyes. The, the classic New Englander. Whittling by the stove at the country store, taking Gramps for a walk in the old town square, getting ready for a, for a quilting contest. I mean, staring blankly off into space, man. The lights are on, but nobody's home. <laughs> Z. Ghouls just want to have fun. Ghouls just want to have fun. It's Halloween. That's no fair. <laughs> Man, I know that you got a little something. Tell me about it. Mary. Oh, hi, Phil. Hi. Listen, about tonight's party. Uh, oh, it's going to be great. Yeah, I know. I was just kind of wondering if maybe you and I could, uh... Mm. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll get back to you. I'm in love. I'm dying here, Vin. I'm definitely dying. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Miss Jensen, and I'll be your substitute teacher for History 101. Mr. Fenster will be out for a week with the flu, and I'll be taking over until he returns. All right! I do have his study plan, so work will continue as usual, including detention for anybody who dances in his seat again. <laughs> now, are there any questions before we get to, um... Mr. Grenville's report on Halloween with reference to local history. Mr. Grenville. All right, Phil. So. I've got some slides, so could you get the lights for me? And could someone get the, the uh, windows, the shades? Melissa. Well, uh, hold that for a second. Halloween. The holiday we now call Halloween used to be called Al Hallow's Eve, and it was a pagan festival of fire to honor the powers of darkness. Okay, guys, that's enough. Food left for wandering dead souls was how the idea of trick or treat got started, and costumes were worn. Costumes were worn to scare away the evil spirits on the night they had their most power. In the early years of the town, Nathaniel Grenville, my great-great 
great-great-grandfather was minister and constable general. Anyhow, these guys back then believed in all this stuff about witches. And as it so happened, one of the most powerful witches who ever lived came from right here in Pitchford Cove. Or Pitchfork Cove, as it got to be known because of what happened. And this witch was Lucinda, Grinville's slave, and the great-great-great-great-grandmother of Melissa Cavendish. Great, great. I know, I know. We all know. It was that old black magic. Thank you. Lucinda brought a terrible curse on the town. Halloween was the best time to do it when witchcraft was at its most powerful. All the legendary demons of hell were loosed. And the dead with unfinished business on earth came back from the grave. But no one knows how he did it. Nathaniel Grenville, the witch hunter general, as he was later called, put an end to the curse at midnight on Halloween. And all the demons were laid to rest. All except Lucinda, who was hung in the town square in the early morning hours following Halloween. These wax figures of Lucinda and Nathaniel Grinville, the witch and the witch hunter, are dressed in authentic period outfits, passed down to the archives of the old church, which now houses the Witchcraft Museum in Town Square. Hey, what's that an idea? As American as yeah, American I got a really hot idea. I don't know. Stealing these costumes is pretty crazy. It's not stealing, it's borrowing. We're gonna bring them back in the morning. Not if we get caught. Oh, come on, Phil. Don't be a pooper. I'm really? not a pooper. Nobody's gonna catch us. Worst comes the worst, my dad will get us off. Ooh, Judge Crandall, the hanging judge, sentenced his son to death. <laughs> no way. Look, it's Halloween. Everybody goose on Halloween. Hey, she's going. So what do you think? Having those costumes for the party would be hot. 300 years of the crowning touch. What's old Lester doing here? Cops probably hired him to patrol, you know, against Halloween pranks. <laughs> Wonderful. He's nothing to worry about. He's a little man with big dogs. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Welcome to my laboratory. Grandma? Hey, what took you guys so long? I've been hiding out in that bathroom for the longest time. Lester's outside with dogs. His big dogs. <laughs> Come on. So freaky. Classic. You rang, master? <laughs> so, Melissa, say hello to your grandma. Hello, Melissa. It's so nice of you to visit. <laughs> Cute, Mitch. <laughs> so, Phil, this stuff looks a little too big for you anyway. Let's say I take it then. Uh, I know he's your great great grandfather, but sure, man, go ahead. I got my own anyway. Hey, Grenville. Grenville. What's in here? I don't know. It's, uh, it's the archives. It's just more old stuff. Anything good? I don't know. Sorry, Grandma. It's stuck. This is so cool. It looks like nobody's been down here in years. Oh, great. So let's be the first. This is not a good idea, Just man. We shouldn't be here. Adventure. <sighs> Whoa. Ah! Oh, I hate rats. <laughs> Come on, I've seen bigger. We call them cats in New York. Ooh, yes. This looks like my bedroom at home. Well, what if there's anything valuable down here, man? <laughs> here, Vinny. Oh, thanks. Ooh, this thanks. place is oh, great. This place Baby. is great. Yeah, that's my hat. Hey, we can yeah. use some of the stuff to decorate the party. No, that's yeah. not a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. No. What should we put it in? Let's check it out. How about this truck? Great. Cheers. That's the Grenville coat of arms. Well, maybe it was a summer camp trunk. Here, open it up. <laughs> Let's put the stuff yeah. in here. Hey, I still don't have a costume for the party. Maybe there's a 38 regular in here someplace. <laughs> oh, come on, we got plenty. Let's get out of here. Stop this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Absolutely unbelievable, man. A clean getaway. You yeah. You never saw us. Saw the world. It's the Wolfman. Hey, all right. It's on. I love this. Oh, he's the best. Yeah. yeah. The pick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Guys, this thing is all busted up. We're going to get nailed for this. Oh, why right not, Phil? We're going to bring it yeah. back tomorrow. Nobody's going to care. Yeah. Nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to care. Hey, what are we going to try this stuff on anyway? I want to get my cops too much. Uh, not my place, man. My folks are like cops. Hey, my dad is a cop. Forget my place. How about the cemetery? Not the cemetery. The cemetery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cemetery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cemetery. Yeah. Halloween night, man. It's classic. Let's go down the hill. <laughs> you guys really did a number on this trunk. I mean, you guys, you dropped it. Hey, boy, 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 come, come. Hey, isn't Vernon Nestor buried in here somewhere? Yeah, I think so. Who's uh, Vernon Nestor? Coming from New York, you wouldn't know about psychotic mess murderers. Come on, we got a few of those where I come from. Base team body buried in his backyard. Ew. Yeah, your old man sure nailed him good, huh? Just sentenced him. He didn't throw the switch. 18 bodies. How could somebody do something like that? Mary, he was a psychotic killer, and at six foot eight, a very big psychotic killer. Sounds like my kind of guy. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. This is the spot. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's ruined. Vinny, have you figured out what you're going to wear to the party yet tonight? No, oh, baby. See, I think best under pressure. So I'm waiting till the very last moment for inspiration. Huh? Wait a second. Look at this. Whoa. Ooh. It's the Grenville coat of arms again. Oh, a ring. And a scroll. Look, the seal matches Grenville's ring. Yeah, and it'll go great with my costume. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe we ought to tell somebody. This could be important. Tell them what? Look, this scroll is out of a stolen trunk. Look, it doesn't matter anyway. We're going to bring it back tomorrow. But tonight's the night. What do you think this is, anyway? <laughs> Maybe it's a Grenfell's little black book. You know, telephone numbers for local demons. <laughs> <laughs> so he can come back and visit his old haunts, huh? <laughs> Vinny, why don't you put it down before you break Whoops. it? Whoops! Too late, guy. <laughs> Wonderful. What's it say? Wow, look at this thing. Oh, it looks like it's written in blood. On human skin. Yeah. Astrios Mundabar Desmogon. Molary Curligon. <laughs> Mitch, maybe you shouldn't be doing this, huh? Oh, no, Phil's right. You shouldn't be doing it. I should. It's in my blood. Astrachios Mundabar. Desmogon, I invoke your powers. Come heed my bidding on this night of nights, the eve of Samhain, All Hallows' Eve. Spirits of darkness, I command you to rise from your graves at Lavabis Sagame. All manner of demons, I implore your release from eternal torment. Castigus Sagame. All manner of dead, renewed by sleep, thirsting for blood, this night and forever, he who is touched by evil shall become evil. Sodomus Sagame, he who has died shall rise again. Bestimus Sagame, life to the dead, death to the living. Demons, arise, arise. Melissa! 
Melissa! Is she okay? Just kidding. Oh, <sighs> Melissa! Great. You shouldn't do that to people. Oh, yeah, come on, yeah. guys. This is just a joke. No, it wasn't funny. It's just a bunch of words. Wait a minute. I don't think it is. Didn't anyone listen to my report today? No. 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 Well, this sounds just like the curse Lucinda let loose on this town exactly 300 years ago tonight. To set free the demons of hell and to bring back the dead from the grave. Uh, let's get out of here. Help me! Help me! Why would anybody want to come back here? Anyway? It was to the grave. I'd definitely come back in Times Square, the village. It's cold. Let's go.
trick or treat. Here you are, and I have some for you, and you too. Here, take as much as you want. Have a good time. All right, a little more, huh? All right. Happy Halloween now. Have fun, kids. Have fun. Happy Halloween. I love Halloween. You know, if those kids would eat candy like that all year round, I'd be a millionaire. Phil, are you ready yet? You look cute. Thank you. Here you go. Hurry up. Just a second. Come on, son. We have to get to the Larsons. Yeah, they're... Oh, God, you look beautiful. Thank you. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. They are closed. Okay. Open them. <gasps> Bodacious. <laughs> All right. Oh. That I see walking in these woods. Hey guys! Ah! Why is Little Red Riding Hood? Hey there, Little Red Riding Hood. You sure are looking good. You're everything a big bad wolf could want. Listen to me! Little Red Riding Hood. I don't think little big girls. I'm sorry, I didn't... Are you all right? I didn't even see you back there. You okay? Until I'm sure that you've been shown That I can be trusted Walking with you alone Happy Halloween. You're a liar. I'm not a liar. What's so pitiful about it is you're such a bad liar. Jen, I'm not lying. Shut up when you're talking to me. Now listen. You listen to me now. You think you can fool your old man, don't you? I'm not trying to... Well, you won't. You won't. You think I've been on the bench for 30 years in this town? I recognize liars when I see them. Top-notch, professional, grade-A liars. That's right. And I get them. I get them. Get them. Now, Judge Crandall always now, wait a minute. his men. Wait a minute here. You've got a reputation to uphold in this town. You're the judge's son. Right. So why don't admit it? You stole that costume from the museum. Don't tell me you didn't. Everyone in this town recognizes this witch hunter's get-up. Admit it, damn it. I admit it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I took the costume. I'm gonna bring it back tomorrow. Nobody's gonna see it. I'm just gonna go to the party, then I'll bring it back. Go on, man. And if you get caught? And you figure if you get caught, I'm gonna let you off? There's nothing to let us off from. We didn't do nothing. Breaking and entering, boy. Oh, come on. Dad, it's, it's not Watergate. We just bought a couple clothes. I'm gonna bring them back. Well, I've got news for you, son. If you do get caught, I'm not gonna let you off. I'm gonna get you good. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you good. Trick or treat. Trick. Yeah, this is the Wolf Man, and it's Halloween, so we're gonna be rocking till the midnight hour with the weird tunes. The strange sounds, baby, for all you young lovers. So, guys, grab your favorite ghoul, hold her real tight. Give her a love bite, cause tonight just might be the night. Is this Maple Avenue? It doesn't look like the Maple Avenue I know. Uh, yeah. That's a great costume. Ginchy Carr. Is it yours or your dad's? It's mine. Me. Do you always dress like that to cruise? Cruise? I. This isn't for cruising. I. You know, it's Halloween. Halloween. Late. Come on, let's go. That would explain a lot of things. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. You're not from around here, are you? I mean, I would know if you were from around here. Did you just transfer? 
transfer. Yeah, sort of. Are you lost? Do you need a ride somewhere? No, I was just going to go home first. Okay. You know, there's, uh, if you're not doing anything later, there's a big party up at the old Cavender house. It's up on a... The Cavender house. I know where it is. It's spooky. Well, if you're not doing anything later, come on by. Thanks. What's your name? Phil. My name's Sandy. Maybe I'll see you later, Phil. I hope so. get into Halloween, man. So, what do you think of my costume? Vinny, you look like a delicatessen. <laughs> no, you look good, too. Hey, what's the matter with you? My old man. Yeah? So what else is new? I think he'd have the decency to turn it off before he goes out. Damn kid. They don't have any respect for anyone. That son of yours doesn't do anything around here except eat and make garbage. Then he goes out and forgets the garbage. Who's it up to? Ah, Pips me. I'll be right back to you. Stupid Halloween pranks. You hear me? Stupid punks.
legs don't stop. Oh, and you are so healthy. A serious costume. I mean, I just kind of like threw this together, but this is like, choo. Oh, the voice. Oh, man, that's great. That's wild. I'll check you out. Great guys. Is that great? Well, I thought so. Weird. Very weird. Tonight, every hour, on the hour, it's the midnight hour. Yeah! that guy? I don't know. Must be from another high school. <laughs> yeah, junior high. Looking good. Yeah, thanks, man. Except this thing is driving me crazy. It's itching me. Hey, Phil. Hey, what's happening, Mitch? Is Mary here yet? No, can you believe it? She got stuck babysitting her little brother. Tonight? You're kidding me. No, nah, her sister's having a baby or something. On a Halloween night? I don't believe it. <laughs> but I talked to her on the phone. She said she's coming. She's not missing this for the world. Alyssa, sure. there you are. Come on, baby, let's dance. Whoa, what's that smell, Vinny? What? Come on, I tried to get into this. Oh, don't wash it off. It's terrible. All right, cool, but I'll meet you on the dance floor, all right? Hey, Phil, what's that miss? <laughs> Stinky Vinny. <laughs> See you later. Just some food. Okay. Right, Hey, you made it! All right, listen, I'm sorry about that. I didn't even see you. you ran off so quick, I wasn't sure if you're okay. You're all right, though, huh? Good. Oh, this is gonna be a weird night. Yes. <laughs> nice jacket. Oh, thanks. David Bowie. <laughs> Interesting dress. Thanks, Miss Jensen. Call me Vicky. Uh, Melissa, this is my friend Death. Death, this is Melissa and... Vinny. Vinny, yes. Melissa, is there any wine? For chaperones only, of course. Of course. There's a bottle in the fridge, but it's not very good. There's some down in the cellar, though. I'll, I'll check. Okay, thanks. That's weird, man. <laughs> no, Vinny.
from every dog in Massachusetts. Jesus. I did. <laughs> Where is he? Mary, I'm right here. Oh, I felt there. You told me on the phone he was alone. He is. Don't worry about her. Mary, you want to dance? Oh, no, thanks. Not right now, Phil. I rushed out so quick, I didn't have time to put this together. My what hair... What did you want to be? The Bride of Frankenstein. Right. <laughs> Let's go put it together. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my night. <sighs> yeah, it's for you to say. Vinny is such a pain sometimes. He's only got one thing on his mind, and it's not algebra. But Vinny and you are. There. What do you think? Ooh, heavy metal. <laughs> Frankenstein Rick, watch out. <laughs> exactly. You look dynamite. So what's this about you and Vinny? Are you two breaking up? You two are practically married. Married? God, no, please. Well, it's like you were married to do everything. We do not do everything. <laughs> well, almost everything. So what's going on? Are you two breaking up? I don't know. It's so... It's so... I don't know. I just love it when you take a stand. It's so, it's so. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Got your safety pins on the medicine chest back there. Why? I'm going to go total punk. And do what? Stick a safety pin in your cheek? Well, maybe not total punk. Is that a glue? Uh, my mother's eyelash glue in the left hand drawer beneath the medicine chest. Eyelash glue. Thanks. Yuck. Excuse me. Yes? That's such a lovely dress. Where did you get it? Oh, it's been in my family for years. I once had a dress very much like that. A long time ago. Yes. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Let's go. Bye. Bye. Well, Melissa, there seems to be a bit of a problem down here. What? Is there a fight? Nope. The chaperones are out of wine. I'll get some more from the cellar. Thanks. That is one fantastic chaperone. <laughs> really? <laughs>
scared me. I just thought you might need some help. Picking something out. Thanks. I don't know wine real well. My dad will probably kill me if I take anything too old or too valuable or whatever. I don't know what to take. Just something to quench the thirst. But what? There's so many kinds. There's only one thing that can quench the thirst. The unbearable thirst that thirst of the centuries to be passed on forever. What do you think? Red or white? Red. Definitely red. Your mama told you not to come. I hope you didn't listen. Want some whiskey in your water? Sugar in your tea? What's all these crazy questions they're asking me? This is the craziest. Did you see that? that see what? The way Miss Jensen, I mean Vicky, looked at me. The substitute teacher? Yeah. Get out of here. No, no, listen. I know women. She wants me. There's not too many more slow songs. I'm gonna cut in now. Death is not gonna like this. I'm not afraid of death. I'm going for it. Open up your window. Let some air to this room. I think I'm always choking from the smell of stale perfume. And that cigarette you're smoking, let's get real to death. Open up the window, sucker. Let me catch my breath. Mama told me let's go. Mary. Mama told me let's go. Hi. Hi. This looks terrific. Thanks, Phil. Listen, um, do you, uh, do you, do you want to dance, Mary? No, Phil, I don't think I want to right now. Oh, that's fine. I wasn't into it. No problem. A dance? Uh, hey, Phil. Hey, Vinny. Hey, you seem to listen anywhere around here, man. I think she went down to the wine cellar for something. She is giving me such a hard time tonight. It's like I'm getting nowhere with her. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Listen, check this out for me back here. It's itching like crazy. Is there a bobby pin missing or something? Ooh, Phil, you got a serious rash going on back here, man. Vinny, guess who? Melissa, there you are. No. Guess again. Someone who looks like Melissa. But isn't. Lucinda, all right. This is it, man. This is it. Let's dance. Yeah. Later, bro. Yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> That's it. The wig comes off, the makeup's gone, and I'm going home. Well, don't eat them. Now, remember, we talked about that. Yeah. And you guys promised to keep an eye on the kids for me. Will you do Excuse that me? Is this yeah, yeah. Maple? Just, yeah, one second. Now, listen. Don't let the kids eat anything that's not, not wrapped. wrapped. Right, okay. I'm sorry, what? 
This is Elm and Maple, isn't it? Yes, it is. But uh, my house... This house is not supposed to be here. My house ha has one story, and, and we had a little picket fence that went all the way around, and, and my doggy's house is supposed to be right here. Well, this is Elm and Maple. I'm, I'm sorry, I've got to go. Would you kids wait for me right at the corner, please? Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick or treat. What do you see in death, then? <laughs> what? Death, the guy you were with. Oh, you mean Marvin. Marvin. Death has a name, and its name is Marvin. Marvin. Love it. <laughs> Hi again. Sandy, right? Yeah, hi. What's wrong? Everything. Nothing's the same. Like what? What happened to your get-up? I thought it was cute. It got all itchy. I ditched it. Is that a remake of See Love? Remake? The original was a lot more hep. And why'd they bother? Listen, they took out all the good stuff. Look, are you, uh... Are you waiting for someone or something? No. I was just sitting. You remember that party I told you about? Well, I just came from there. Maybe we could go back. No. I don't really want to be with a bunch of people I don't know. No. Especially since I won't be around for long. What do you mean you won't be around for long? You're not thinking of doing something crazy, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not thinking about killing myself, if that's what you mean. What a waste of time that would be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing with your top up on a night like this, huh? It's cold outside. Not for me. Why don't you put it down and give me a ride, huh? Sure. Much better. You, babe, anything. Sandy? Bill, live a little. Sandy, I, this boat is never going to be... you can do it. Yeah? And I'm just coming out of it, and nothing, I mean nothing, will bring me out of it quicker than a big chocolate ice cream soda. So let's go. Where? <laughs> to the mall shop, of course, silly. The mall shop? See if my brother's all right. What do you think? Yeah, you're right. He's probably sleeping. I don't want to wake him up anyways. 
They are animals. What's the matter? Did old Frankenstein Rick drop you or what? Yeah. Uh, that's too bad. Oh, thanks a lot. I knew you'd understand. Where's Phil? I could talk to him. He's my friend. He went home. Why? You wouldn't talk to him. Oh, great. <laughs> theaters crammed into what used to be the malt shop? How do you keep from hearing one movie through the walls of the one next door? You don't. And the drive-in's closed? Yeah, except for swap mates. How long ago did you say you lived here before you moved back? I don't remember there ever being a malt shop here. Well, it was a long time ago. I don't remember any of those things from when I was a kid. You know, like the crazy things your parents tell you you did? Like running down the street naked during a hurricane? <laughs> did you do that? They tell me I did. I remember lots of things. We got the team on the beam. No doubt about it. We're gonna shout it. Who's gonna win? Come on, Phil. Who's gonna win? Pittsburgh? You can do better than that. Pittsburgh. Louder! Pittsburgh! Go, team, go! Woo! This is such a dreamy song. Dance with me. got a really cool idea. What? Let's take those hot wheels of yours out to Lookout Point Drag Strip. What is it? Friday night? Oh, things should be hopping. Hopping? Oh, go, man, go. I've got some living to do tonight. Maybe, but, uh... Things aren't really going to be hopping at Lookout Point. Oh, come on. Lookout Point? No, really. Well, let's go anyway. You never know what might happen. Okay. Tutti Fruity? See? I told you, it's dead. You're right. I'm a little chilly. Maybe now it's time to put the top up. 
Okay. Well, so the trip won't be a total loss. in the back seat. The back seat? Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> what was that? Nothing to be afraid of. Do to a, a paint job like that, huh? Do, yes, sir. I'm a werewolf. And he threw the prize. It huge. And, and it had it got up on two legs. It had paws. Like like hands, big paws and fangs. Sure wasn't a dog. Captain Jensen, I know the difference between a wolf and a dog. There are no wolves around here. I know. That's that's why we're here. Look, I know it sounds how do you think I got this? It was a werewolf. I'll tell you how to handle this. Get their names and address and we'll contact the their parents. Well, I'll discuss it with him, too. Yes, sir. Burglary on 4th and Mason. A pack of kids dressed up as zombies. Mrs. Phillips on Jackson Square, she saw her husband turn into a bat and fly out of the window. Was heading north on Main Street, and she wants us to keep an eye out. Halloween, my favorite time of year. We got nothing on the museum break-in. There are some costumes missing, though. Uh, reports are still being filed on the vandalism at the graveyard. Whoever did it outstripped last year by a mile. We got broken crypts, missing bodies, cracked open about a dozen coffins, and oh yes, Vernon Nestor is gone. Probably find him propped up on my lawn in the morning with a sign around his neck. Any leads on the kids that broke the barbershop window? No, but we're still working on it. Uh, what have we got here? More werewolves. There's more. Yeah, that's a third report tonight. That and about a, a dozen vampire tales. You know what it is? It's a full moon on top of Halloween that really brings out the crazies. And the werewolves. Captain Jensen, three reports. You don't think that adds up to something? Yeah, it does. Werewolves, vampires, zombies, goblins, and little green men add up to let's all have fun with the cops. Come on, Phil. I told you the fuzz wouldn't believe us. Fuzz? It's been a long time since we've heard that. <laughs> Captain Jensen, this really did happen. Sure did. I got your report. Happy Halloween. There's something very strange going on around here tonight. It's more than just werewolves. That whole cemetery thing. I was just down there a couple hours ago. Nothing was what wrong there. What were you then. doing at the cemetery? All these friends of mine, we did something stupid. What? Tell me. 
We stole the costumes those cops were talking about. Well, what did you do with them? We took them to the cemetery. Mitch and Melissa kept them. That's when we found this old parchment inside Nathaniel Grimble's trunk. We goofed around with this ritual, but that's it. Phil, Phil, what kind of ritual? It was something about raising the dead, setting free all the demons of hell, but nothing happened. What? What is it? I think I know what's going on here. That ritual, it worked. It was just some old piece of parchment wrapped up with a seal. What kind of a seal? Wax, with the imprint of Nathaniel Grenville's ring. Phil, listen, I know you're going to think I'm crazy. Yeah, go on. Okay. The dead are coming back to life in Pitchford Cove. I know, believe me, I know. And some of the dead, not all of them, are out to kill. What do you mean, not all of them? Well, some of them are just out to do things they never got to do while they're still alive, I guess. Like what? Like fall in love? Sandy, you're right. You believe me? No, I think you're crazy. Come on, let's Phil, go. Phil, I'm serious. Okay, even so, how does all this back from the dead stuff explain werewolves all and vampires? All the demons of hell, you said it yourself. It's part of the ritual. Phil, listen to me. What we've got to do now is get a hold of that parchment and reseal it using Grenville's ring. We need to make a wax seal from the bones of Grenville himself from his crypt at the cemetery. We'll need his power. His power? How do you know all this stuff? We need to do this all by midnight. Midnight. Right. Bill, you're starting to sound like those cops back there. Okay, sorry. Why midnight? Because if we don't do it while it's still Halloween and the night the evil was created, everyone who dies this night will walk again, and all who are touched this night by evil will become evil forever. Those are the exact words. You've heard this ritual before. Once. When? Does it matter? I heard it, that's all. I know what it is. That's Judge Crandall's wheels. He better have insurance. Hey! Judge Crandall! Judge Crandall! Judge Crandall! Wait! He's one of them! You're right. The undead. Okay, I'm buying it. What do we need? The parchment. The parchment's at my house. Mitch has Grenville's ring. We need wax from the witch hunter's bones and what else? We have to do everything by midnight. Midnight, midnight. Wait here. We might as well add on one more crime in the interest of justice. We're going to need this, too. Why? In case we run into some more of those werewolves. Right. And I got just the thing in my dad's office to stop him. What? Silver for silver bullets. It's a dance song to get down with. About six feet under. Get dead. Ooh, I love this song. <laughs>
Everybody should try it. Get dead. My dad would be proud, sort of. Phil, please hurry. I'm almost there. Listen, uh, there's a flashlight on the top of the refrigerator. Get it. We're going to need it. I'll be out in the car in a couple of seconds. Okay. What's the matter, Nathaniel? It's just that... See, are you afraid of dying? Come out, Melissa. Lucinda. All right, Lucinda. Come on, get down. I'm not afraid of dying, Nathaniel. Are you afraid of dying? Get down. If you're afraid of dying, Nathaniel, you shouldn't be up here with me. You might just die in my arms. Of course, if you catch me, you can have me. All of me. What about Vinny? Forget Vinny. My dad's car. He's probably drunk. I gotta go dry him up for the kids. Your dad is bombed out. I just have over a bush. I brought your cape. Thought you might need it. Thanks, Mary. Maybe if we just go real slow, they won't notice us. Be real quiet.
Your friend Mary, she's dressed so strangely. Some girls dress like that all the time. Not just on Halloween. In my day, if a girl looked like that, people would say she was possessed. She'd be burned at the stake. Times have changed. Some things never change. like the sound of this. Of what? The party. I don't hear anyone. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's happening here, too. Oh, no. Okay. All right. What are we going to do? Here, we can use this candle, Phil. What? Let's go. Let's get out of here now. Wait a minute. we got to get Mitch. we got to get Grinville's ring. Mitch has Grinville's ring. For us, Phil. We are right here. We have to end this. Don't come another step closer! You can't beat us, Phil. Nicole, wear this. What Wait. are we gonna do? We're gonna break into that mausoleum and get Grenfell's bones. We need to mix wax with his bones and then seal the parchment with the ring. It's the only way to end the curse. And we gotta do it all by midnight. No kidding. Darn, it's locked. Okay, back up. Come on. 
What's that? Nate doesn't have any unfinished business around town tonight. Quick, take the candle. Now, melt the wax and get your ring ready. Okay, shh. I got the ring. Okay, light it. I don't have the matches. You have the matches. I don't have any matches. So they're back in the car. We can't go back to we the car. We gotta go back to the car. Come on. Get the rifle. Love you too, Sandy. First caller after midnight on the Wolfman's dedication line is a young lady who really wanted to make sure we got this right out right away. It's from Sandy to Phil. Yeah. 
ठाठ नाठी 